Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video we are going to learn how we can fire a notification with action in Jetpack Compose. I am making this video because the next video which I am going to make that would be of FCM, Firebase, Firebase Cloud Messaging. So in Firebase Cloud Messaging every time we need notification. So in this video I want to make you understand that how we can make or how we can fire a notification normally without including FCM. Firebase Cloud Messaging in Jetpack Compose. Then in next video, we will try to fire a notification message from FCM to a specific device. So here I have just designed a simple layout, column layout we have here. Under the column layout, we have a one outline button and we have the button fire notification as a text. So whenever we will click on this button and we will have the response in this on click lambda expression. So here we make a code. So for uh, notification I am creating a separate class here because I have to use this class again and again in later videos also. So we are creating a class and we say uh, fire notification. Or we can say my notification like this in this class I'm going to declare first of all channel ID because we require channel ID now then we say channel ID to I say uh, FCM 100 then we say channel name and I say FCM message. Now I need uh, in constructor I have to pass some specific value also. So I say uh, well where I need here first of all context. then I need then I need title of message then I need message that we want to fire now I need to create a notification manager so I say well notification manager and I say context dot application context dot get system services and in this services I need context dot notification service and as a uh, notification manager I want to save this now I need to create a object of notification channel so I say where notification channel and I say notification channel like this and I say late in it similar way I want to create notification builder also so I say notification builder and here I say notification manager notification compact dot builder like this now I create a function and I say fire notification function name fire notification and in this function 
I just uh, first of all create a channel ID so I say notification channel equal to notification channel and here I have to pass channel ID first of all then channel name uh, then third thing is the priority of this notification so we say notification manager dot high priority then we have to and place this under this if the version of this SDK or we can say Android if if the version of Android is greater than or equal to Oreo O then we need to define a notification channel otherwise we don't need to define notification before this so what I say now notification uh, manager dot create notification channel and here I have to pass notification channel now I need to create notification builder so I say notification builder equal to notification compact dot builder and here I have to pass uh, the context we say context and we have to pass the channel ID like this now notification builder dot set a small icon and here we can give any icon which you want to give here I am giving a default icon but you can give any other icon also then notification builder dot uh, spelling mistake of builder pyl same we can do here notification builder dot set content title so we pass title here then same notification builder dot set context we say msg then notification builder dot set auto cancel true we want to close it when we click then notification manager dot notify then we can give any channel id notification id and then i pass notification builder dot build like this and if I want to open uh, some specific application when we click on a notification like I want to open a same application uh, for which we have the message so we may have a intent also so we say val intent here intent we pass here context and here I pass the main class that main class is main activity dot class dot java and we have to give it to the pending intent equal to pending intent dot get activity here I pass context then I pass request code to 0 then I pass intent then I pass the flag so I say pending intent dot flag immutable like this we are passing here and then in notification I can pass notification builder dot set add action and here in action I pass icon so r dot drawable dot default icon we are taking here then I need the name so I say open activity we can say open message or I say here pending intent like this we can add action also 
so we design a class this class will fire a notification on the basis of these value which we are going to pass now we have to call this from this button so what I do I have to create a variable I say notice equal to my notice and we have to pass here the context for context we have this context dot local context so I have to pass here context then I need uh, the title so I say uh, fcm and here I say this is notification for FCM testing okay so we are passing this now we have to fire the function that is notice dot function name is fire notification which we have created here so I think it's a one line of code only now I try to execute it now we have an application fire notification so I need to click on this button and you see that notification is coming notice this is notification for FCM testing and if I click I just open again and I click on open message the same activity will open which is already open or I can open other activity also and I will open the message also that will be come from the FCM it is just a little example to understand how we can fire a notification in Jetpack Compose so separately I created a class and this class I will use in later videos also to fire a notification from a FCM to a specific device and then we will pass the message from one device to another device then I will run two emulators and we will send a information from one emulator to another emulator and we will test this FCM messages by using this notification class so I think you understand now how we can fire a notification with action in Jetpack Compose and that's all in this video I think you have learned something from this video if you really learn anything from this video please like share and subscribe this channel thank you for watching this video